Okay, so in this video, we're going to add a replay button to our game. So to do this, first of all, we're going to create a new game object. We're going to create a game manager for our game. So here in the hierarchy, right click, select create empty, and let's call this empty object game manager like this. Let's reset, let's reset the transform position of the, of the game manager. And now we will create a new script here in the project view. So right click, select create, script and let's call the script game manager capital g let's you can see that this game manager has a, a little bit it's a little bit different from the other scripts but just uh, don't worry about this it's just another script so double click it to open it and now that we have it here we're going to get rid of the update method and what we're going to do here is that we're going to define the behavior for our button so what do we want our, our replay button to do? So we want to replay the scene. We want to replay the game. We want to load the game again when we hit that button. So let's create a method for that. Let's make a, let's make a public void method called on replay button pressed. So when we press the button, the replay button, we want to actually load the scene again. So to do this, we need to use another Unity library called scene management. So using at the top, we're going to type in using Unity engine dot scene management. And once we have that, we can say scene manager inside the on replay button method. We can we can we can say scene manager dot load scene scene manager dot get active scene open and close parentheses and then dot build index so here we have a method scene manager dot load scene that what it does is that it loads the scene at a specific index so to get the index of the actual scene of the main scene of the current scene we say scene manager dot get active scene dot build index so that's what it basically does so now that we have the behavior of the on replay button pressed we can go ahead to we can go to um to the inspector and we can go to the canvas right click select ui and let's create a button let's rename this button in the inspector to replay if you if you click here in the arrow you can see that it comes with a text so let's rename this text to play again let's so change the text to play again let's increase the font size and now we can select our replay button we can press t we can zoom in in the scene and we can just uh, resize our play button like this. Um, then you can press W and just place our button where you want to place it. Okay, that's perfect. So now if we select our replay button, we can see here in the inspector that it has an on-click field. So press this play, this plus button over here. And then what we're going to do is that it's asking for an object. So we're going to pass in our game manager object. But first of all, make sure that our, your game manager object has the game manager script. So let's select our game manager object, add component, game manager. And now that it has the script attached to it, now we can select our replay button and drag. So click and drag game manager to the on click here where it says non object. And now we can select a function, select the game manager script. And now we can select the method on replay button pressed. So we do all of this so we know what method is going to run when we hit the replay button. So initially the replay button is going to be set to inactive because we don't want to see this in the scene when we play the game. So select the replay button, go here to the top of the inspector and here you can you see that there's like a checkbox that is marked. Let's uncheck this box and you can see that as soon as we uncheck the box the button disappears from the scene. Okay, so now how do we make this button active? So let's go back to Visual Studio to the game manager script and here what we can do is that we can create another method called game over. So when we when the game is over, what we want to do is the following thing. Let's define the behavior. So void, let's say public void game over. And when the game is over, we want to pause the game first. So let's pause the game. Let's say time dot delta time. I always say time dot delta time, but it's time dot time scale. Sorry for that, guys. Is equal to zero. So time dot time scale dot time scale is equal to zero. So now 
once that uh, once we pause the game we want to actually uh, make our button visible to the player so we need a reference to the button so let's type in here public game object and here we'll we'll just say replay btn and now this is going to be the reference for our object that we're going to set in the inspector but over here what we can say is that our replay button replay button btn dot set active set active and in parentheses we're going to type in true this means that when this method is called we're going to freeze the game and then we're going to set our replay button active to true and when the player presses that replay button we're going to load the scene again so when we load the scene again at the start of the, of the at the start of the game we want to set the time dot time scale so we want to say we want to set this time dot, dot time scale to one so the game runs at normal speed all right so now what we have to do is that we need to call this method from the specific from, from a specific location so let's go back let's go to our player script and here instead of setting the time dot time scale to zero when we win we're going to actually comment this out and we need to call the game manager method game over but to do that as always we need a reference from the game manager inside the player script so let's create a reference from the game manager over here let's say public game manager game manager and now that we have the reference to the game manager what we can say is down here we can say game manager dot game over so the game over method is going to set is going to actually do the same exact thing that we were doing plus it's going to set our replay button to active now save that and now we're going to go to our countdown timer and when we lose we want to actually do the same thing so we are gonna first of all need a reference to the game manager so public game manager game manager like in the player script and here we're going to say game manager dot game over like this all right so now we must not forget to to actually make these references set these references for the countdown and the player in the in the inspector okay so let's go ahead and do it so let's go to our player script and we need a reference to the game manager so click and track the game manager in the player script and we're going to do the same thing for the countdown script so we need a reference to the game manager all right and now if we hit play we can see that uh, we we start the game we have our enemies all over the the scene let's let me make this scene a little bit bigger so you can see what's going on i think i'm gonna i'm going to lose this this uh this game okay i lost so you can see that apparently there's an error so let's see what's going on let's go to a console and here you can see that all of our errors are going to appear here in our console so it says the variable replay button of game manager has not been assigned so let, you can double click and sometimes it will take you to the code so here you can see that uh the game manager we set the reference to the replay button but we haven't assigned this reference so let's go back to the unity inspector and go to our game manager object to our game manager script and as we can see here we don't we haven't assigned this reference to the replay button so just click and drag the replay button to this field save play the game and now if we play the game we should be able to everything should be able to work just fine so let's see if everything works fine let's try to complete the game i i think i'm gonna lose this game too three two yeah i'm gonna lose i lost but now we have access to a replay button so if we hit play it's going to replay again again and again so this is going to be for this video i'll see you in the next video